Hey, peace and love. What's up? What's up, family? This is Chief Kalanago, man, out here in Tampa, Florida. Right now, I'm next to the Hillsborough River in Tampa, Florida. And um, as you know, man, all this is ancestral land, all right? Indian country, what they call Indian country all over the Americas. But I'm here in Tampa, all right? Uh, we are known for um, rivers, alligators. I mean, I actually, I just saw a turtle, which is beautiful. It stuck its, its head in, but... And it was like, yeah, y'all don't, don't bother me. But anyway, I'm here today with, um, you know, two, uh, you know, members of our nation. You know what I'm saying? A brother and a sister, man. Um, they, they're powerful. And uh, they're going to tell you a little bit of their story. All right. So I came out here to, um, you know, assist them, you know, let them know that they're not alone with what they're dealing with from the state of Florida. All right. So um, let us get into this. All right. So let us pan into them. Hey, peace and love, peace and love, family. What's up? How y'all doing? What's peace, peace, all right? Peace. Introduce yourself to the fam. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm Chief Blackbird, White Tip. That's my indigenous title. All right. Yes, I'm Empress Everlasting Waters. All peace. right. Peace and love, peace and love, family. All right. Peace, so you know peace, what, man? Peace. Once again, man, I love y'all energy. Y'all are beautiful people, and um, you know, you just definitely. Just your energy, you know, speaks for our ancestors that our ancestors are always a peaceful people. But for yes. some reason, you know, colonizers and invaders that came to our land, they always seem to infringe and encroach yes. on who we are as a peaceful people. Yeah. And um, but before I even get into that, let me um, ask you, have you always known and I'm going to start with you, Empress. Have you always known that you were an Aborigine or at some point, you know, you thought you were so-called black or so-called African-American and you came into the knowledge? Well, um, my grandmother actually always told me that uh, my grandfather was full-blooded Cherokee. Okay. So um, the African-American thing came obviously being taught that in school. Mm -hmm. That's not something that was just given to me just as from my, my people. It mm -hmm. came from school. But the, the Cherokee um, lineage, that mm -hmm. came from my grandmother. Okay. So that's how that came about for me. All right, beautiful. How about you, Chief? Uh, me personally, you know, uh, I had known of Indian in our family when I was younger, mm -hmm. but it never was implemented as though that's who I was. Mm -hmm. Always was told that I had only a portion of the blood, mm -hmm. not all of the blood, but kind of realized to see that we are the indigenous mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful mm -hmm. to be able to stand up for my people. Okay. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. So, I mean, in terms of, you know, um, before we get into what you're really dealing with, all right, let us know, even before that situation, how is the people around you? Are there other Aborigines who know that they are? Is the movement strong or it's just pretty much you guys just feel, you know, a, a web of, you know, people who are just asleep and you're trying to wake them up or you run into a few people who know who they are? Go ahead. Uh, being down here in Florida, mm -hmm. it, it is totally different from uh, a lot of other states. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been to D.C. It's people there in D.C. that actually knows, but they say that a lot of people just don't want to wake up to the facts. But down here in Florida, it is like a well that you're trying to wake up people as you go because it's a lot of people down here that really do believe that uh, what the officers or, or policemen or courts or anything like that is law. What they say is law and all they've been doing is imprinting on our our mm. rights okay. you know they doing what they want to do mm -hmm. to us okay so. all right beautiful so now seeing that we're talking about the rights of indigenous people mm -hmm. all right um personally i believe that um it's all about the education yeah. some of these people they know but a lot of them just bl and they do blatantly violate our rights because yes. they they feel they are entitled to what's ours yes it's our birthright this is our home this is our land mm -hmm. and we do know when they came here they saw us Absolutely. all right yes. and um they feel that because they are so-called discovered and founded, mm -hmm. then they have the mm -hmm. right to just, again, you know, infringe and encroach on who we are as an indigenous people. Yeah. Which brings me to the fact for me coming down here because you're part of our nation mm -hmm. and you got a, a, in, into a little situation. So Empress, if you, um, you know, start and tell them, you know, telling me um, exactly, you know, what transpired and what's the situation right now in terms of um, what you're dealing with with the state of Florida. Okay, well, um, the first part, obviously, what is apparently true and instead of them taking the time out to let us have due process or had to take the time out to see all these allegations true they just automatically made me and my husband the enemy took our children from us and they're trying to just completely place them out of our care um we 
we're obviously trying to fight that. We're going to keep fighting that. We're not going to stop fighting it. The next situation is um, we were on the highway, I-75, mm -hmm. and um, we were coming back Sorry, off of off of S exit, mm -hmm. and it was raining. Mm -hmm. I was the one behind the wheel, mm -hmm. and as we were coming off to get back on the interstate, mm -hmm. uh, I guess we hit a pocket of water, but either way, mm -hmm. the, the car started to slide, and it went off the side of the road into mm -hmm. the ditch. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we didn't hit anyone, we didn't commit any crimes, there was no one hurt. Mm -hmm. Instead of us actually getting help, mm -hmm. they took it upon themselves to literally make us the enemy. Literally. They started mm -hmm. questioning us, they, tried, they, they harassed me and my daughter, who was 10, she was there with us at the same time. Mm -hmm. They decided to put him, put my husband mm -hmm. in a car, mm -hmm. saying they were going to arrest him mm -hmm. for failure to so-called identify when they had his ID, mm -hmm. and then turn around and place other charges on him that weren't even the first initial charges. Mm -hmm. So, the the disrespect pretty much is what we're having they do not care anything about us down mm. here um we have been dealing with this situation on the outside mm. now looking in and mm. seeing that there's no respect so but no so let, let, let me let me go back to that night right you said so okay well you said they came now if you got into a situation where your car got stuck in the mm -hmm. ditch, right? Mm -hmm. How did they end up coming? I mean, did somebody alerted them, or we, how did they come? How, well, how we, they end up being we there? Was, mm -hmm. We was told that mm. uh, they was alerted mm. by yeah. someone. Okay. Uh, it, it, as soon as it happened, mm. probably two minutes probably went it past. No time. And mm. the fire department was on mm. the scene, mm. and then mm -hmm. next thing you know, mm. roadside assistance, mm. and then after mm -hmm. that, mm. not too far after that, was mm. the state trooper, mm. and then. After the state trooper, he's trying to do whatever he was doing. Mm. Next day, you know, we got Pasco sheriffs. Mm. We we got all different mm. type of agencies mm. are there to harass us, mm. and 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 the end the result was mm. them uh, incarcerating me. Mm. You know what I'm saying, mm. and Still telling me that property. okay. Uh, you have to go to jail because you didn't comply with the driver's license, mm. uh, insurance. But you said you had you had uh, you had an ID though. But what I had ID? My, what did you have an indigenous that, ID on you? Yes. Stating that you indigenous. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. And they took that from you. And they Both took my mm. my indigenous ID. And also, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I was told that you know they also took your feather. Yes. Yeah. Yes, mm. they have. Mm. I, I I normally rock two feathers that mm. I was that was given to me mm. by the ancestors. This is mm. uh, one of the most recent ones that mm. I. I sport now, but mm. uh, the one I have for the longest, mm. uh, it is it is somewhere in mm. the wind. Mm. But uh, to my knowledge, it's not even mm. in their possession. I don't oh, know what yeah. happened to it. And and you know, so it's always a back and forth. And yes. you know, that was one of the reasons why I came down here as the chief of the nation to assist. But it's always a back and forth of these people not respecting indigenous people's rights. Mm -hmm. You know, and now they are they have taken indigenous children. Yes. All right, away from indigenous parents, and um, you know, tell me, I mean, how 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 does that make you feel, though? Because it seems like, oh, you man. know, you are of course you are a mother, you are an indigenous mother, all right, and you have again invaders, colonizers, coming taking over children without your consent, yeah. right? I mean, mm -hmm. put 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 that in perspective for me. Like, I know that the governor of um of of Florida, his name is Rick. Okay, I know that um, Richard, Lance Scott. Richard Lance Scott. I know that the um, the Attorney General, his name is what Ken? Ken Ken something, right? I know that the the um, who, who Attorney else? General. The, uh, no, the Attorney General. Her, it's a it's a it's a Pam, it's a woman. Her Pam. Name is Pam Bonnie. Bonnie, yes. right? Yes. And then we have um, what's his name? I don't know. But I, I forgot his name. But the point I'm trying to make name. is, what message would you like to send, especially to the Governor of Florida in terms of you being indigenous and your children being taken away from you okay mm -hmm. without your consent without you not we not without you violating any natural laws yeah, okay yeah, without yeah. you breaking any laws but mm -hmm. based on their codes they're saying that because they don't understand our indigenous life mm. tell us you know tell our people you know you know what do you want to say to this governor I mean express yourself I'll go with you first King well, this is this is this is something that I would like to sit down and have a talk with Richard Lynn Scott about mm. is, is to let him know, mm. you know, uh, that the secret is out. 
Mm-hmm. You know, we, we, we know who we are. Right. You know, we, we have been studying. We are not the only ones. You mm-hmm. know, we, mm-hmm. we have people here in Florida. You, you, mm-hmm. you probably won't even know that they are mm-hmm. indigenous. They know that they are indigenous. Right. And all we asking from the governor is to respect our mind. Mm. To, to allow us to build our schools and, mm. and to allow us to have edu- uh, not only education centers, but also health clinics and everything mm. else that mm. involves around us mm. as the indigenous people. Mm. Yes. You know, uh, we got plenty of things that, you know, saying that I want to address mm. with this man, All right. you know, speaking mm. man to man. Right. OK. All right, so sis, yeah, go ahead and, and, and tell me about, again, you know, the, knowing that, you know, as a mother, it seems like, and I'm not saying it is, but it seems like, you know, that it's out of your hands in terms of making decisions that's best for indigenous children, your children that came from your womb. That's your property. Mm-hmm. And they have encroached on your property, and now you feel so helpless. I mean, what do you want to tell this, the, you know, the, 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 the governor of Florida and the attorney general? What message do you have for, for, for these people? By the way, who are actually invaders, colonizers in our land. I mean, what what message do you have for them? The message that I have for them is, first off, we are relentless. There Mm. is nothing that you can do to us to make us stop believing that we know who we are. Mm. We're going to stand for our people. These Mm. things are going to happen. We will continue to live day by day knowing that we are the aborigines of this land. Mm. No matter whether you come into our land and still approach on our rights Mm. we're still going to do what it is that we need to do to survive and Mm. i'm going to get my children and Mm. they are going to be home with me because this is where they belong no matter how 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 can't even speak the words on how it makes me feel Mm. but i'm 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 going to keep my own composure i just Mm. i just want people to know that it is hard Mm. to not have your children home with you Mm. it is very hard to not be able to hold your your actual babies Mm. i have two smaller children Mm. and i can't even see them or hold them or speak to them or talk to them or know if they're okay Mm. because i have so many people that want to wish bad upon us and that Mm. is something that we're doing to each other Mm. and those things have to stop right but it would be very, very in good honor if these, if the state, mm. state general, whoever all these people is, mm. Richard Lynn Scott, if mm. you guys could just respect us and stop ripping our families apart mm. and 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 secretly genociding us, it mm. would be, uh, it would be great. Uh, we for, would really uh, appreciate that. For sure. I want for my sure. children home. Okay. All right. Period. All right. Beautiful. Um. So this is what I want you to do for me. And before we even close, and like I said, I just want to take a moment. You know, what I'm saying just to reflect again on. I'm a pan back to you guys, but again, this is our land. Okay. This is our home. They came and met us here. All right. Yeah. And um, this is what we're all about. So before we, you know, we 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 close off, I would like you to look into the camera right now. Right. You see these birds right there. See, beautiful. I want you to. I would like for you to look into the camera, um, Empress, and you know, I want you to say something to your children, all right? Because mm-hmm. you want them to, you know, how what well, you know what message do you want to convey to them right now? I never give up. Mm. Never. I will never give up. Mm. No one can take that away from me. I don't care who it is. Mm. I never get up fight. Never give up fighting for them. Indeed. That's all. All right, I, I will never that. give up fighting for my babies. Mm. And just know that as an as an American Aborigine and part of our nation, we're not gonna give up on you either. That's why I came down here all the way from Missouri. As soon as I get the, I got the call, nobody had to ask me to come. I jump and I came because you know what oh, we're family. Mm. All right, and we we're gonna get our nation children back. We're gonna I get our indigenous children back. We're not gonna stop fighting. No. All right. So stay strong, and the we ancestors right are gonna guide us. And are we going to make this happen? All Thanks. right, King, any closing? Anything in closing? The only thing that I got to say mm. in closing is that, you know, come on, you guys, let's stand up. Right. You know, let, let, let's step into our persona. Right, indeed. You know, All right. I, I, didn't, I didn't choose a label like this mm. just to have it. Right. It's right. all about making moves. Right, indeed. That's, that's something that we always did. Let's get back to our roots. All right. <laughs> and there's no surprise why Absolutely. the ancestors brought us to the water. You know, Empress, you know, everlasting waters. All right, it's all about everlasting waters. Thank you, guys. All right. Hey, peace and love, family. This is Chief Kalanago out here in Tampa, Florida. As you know, man, um, 
you just saw, you know, um, what our indigenous brother and sister, you know, they are going through out here in Florida. And um, I literally took a trip from um, Missouri to come down here to assist. And I just want to say thank you to our nation members for foremost for, you know, assisting and making that possible. But, you know, I have a message for, um, you know, Governor Rick Scott and Attorney Pam Bondi and Secretary of State Ken Detzner. I hope I pronounced your name properly because I mean no disrespect, all right? Your your people, okay, the people that work for you, the, the law enforcers, you know, um, the policy makers, they have taken indigenous children away from indigenous parents. And I'm not sure if you know um, Governor Rick Scott, okay, the entire Americas, okay, this is our home, we have been here, okay, before, your ancestors came. There was what was so-called the Americas. As a matter of fact, we were here before America was called America. Okay? So all we are saying is this. All we want is just peace in our home. Peace in the land, in our ancestral land. And stop forcing us to assimilate. We have a right to self-identify. We have a right to self-autonomy. And we will not stand for colonizers. We're not going to do it anymore. We know who we are. Okay? I know you guys may be afraid, you're scared that if they get, you know, they get to know who they are, they might do to us what we do to them. But you see, that's not in our nature. We don't have an evil nature. We are a loving people. That's why when your ancestors came to our land and they actually shipwrecked, they were hungry. They didn't even know how to clothe themselves, how to bathe. Our ancestors taught your ancestors and we shouldn't be repaid that way. So this is a message to you. You will, your office will be getting a letter from our nation asking you to cease, to stop, okay, stop the assimilation, stop the genocide of our people, and we're not going to stop. The question is, are you going to lock, are you just going to lock everybody up for standing up as to who we are? And if that's what we take, then guess what? I don't think your jails, your jails are big enough because we're not going to stop. It's millions of us. It is not 40 million, 50 million. It's 150 million of us alone in the United States. Mm. And let's not forget the entire Americas. And let's, let us not forget our ancestors. They are standing with us. Yes. The great spirit that our ancestors look up to, they are, they are within us. And we are not going to stop. So we're asking you to cease. Stop. Talk to your agents. Talk to your agencies. Let them know that this is indigenous land. And you have no jurisdiction over indigenous people. Okay? And just for the record, we are not federally, federally recognized. And, we, and we, we choose not to be federally recognized because the federal government has no jurist, jurisdiction over us. The only authority we answer to is the Great Spirit. That's it. Okay? But this is our home. And we are going to demand some respect. Yeah. Uh, and once again, yes. we come in peace. But enough is enough. Yes. We are tired of the genocide. And again, this is a peaceful warning. All right? I pre you will be getting a letter from me soon. I appreciate your time. Thank you.